Hello and welcome to episode 5 of The Menagerie. It's me, the Raven Phoenix, and today we are going to be laying out all the areas for the huge aviary that we have planned. I say we, it's really just me, but it always sounds better when you have plural, as though there's like a team. Uh, <laughs> um, so if you look at the map above, doo -doo -doo, I kind of cut this in half because I wanted to include water, probably add um, water features down here. As you know, I love them, but the actual layout a uh, rough layout, I kind of like the idea of round, um, is here. I wanted to include some of the naturally snowy areas because I do have banded penguins, which will probably go over here. And um, eventually I would love to have the emperor penguin. I haven't even seen one yet on the server. So yeah, we'll see how that one goes. I'll still make the spot for it anyway. You may notice that I um, left my overlay on. I only had it off last episode simply for the tour, but pretty much this is how we roll. So I do know that I would like the eagles and the condors to have um, kind of this height nesting situation here. But I'm not sure I want all three of them. Ooh. Ooh, is that a condor? Yes. I haven't actually caught one because I knew that they were still spawning in my area. So I think uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we oh, I have a we are going to start the day with a catch. Hello, friend. I genuinely don't know if I need to tranquilize you. Oh no, don't run away. Don't run away. I probably do. <gasps> I don't! Ha ha! You're mine! Success! And on that note, we're gonna get started on today's big projects. I, I want to lay out all of the exhibits. I've looked up and I've decided about six or seven will do, but the ones down here are definitely gonna be for birds of prey. Uh, I mentioned the eagles, I have harpy eagles, and I have owls. So let's just walk for a second and see kind of how I want it. Let's see, looking forward, I think the eagles would look really cool here. Maybe the harpy eagles closer towards the center. I'll have to spread out this water. And then this area isn't actually part of the current layout, but if I want three, it makes sense, especially bringing out that water, it makes sense to come out a little further. Hmm. It is going to be a lot of digging. But if I went out this far, let's see, how would it really look and read? I mean, this is a good size. We'll end up going on a kind of bridge over the water and then going up. Yeah. I think this is enough to get started. While I start with the first of a few time lapses today, I just want to briefly mention that I am trying to do a bi-weekly posting schedule. I do have a day job, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, I really do love it, but Minecraft is what I do to kind of get me through the day or the weekend afterwards. Um, I am obviously continuing with this series, but if you would take a minute to also like and subscribe, you'll get to be notified very soon of my next series coming up. Now, back to this. I am taking some time to kind of specify which areas I really like in my first initial circle for different kinds of groups. So I've got the birds of the prey area, the condors, I think I'm going to definitely use this kind of overhang. And in the end, this is what it looks like. I've got 
five very distinct sections and this snowy area that's over here to the right will also have the penguins but these first areas including this very first white one are our primary starters today we're going to continue and i am going to work on this first one down here in the corner labeled number one starting with a bit of terraforming now this border is kind of temporary it's just the area i want i'm not quite sure on the shape but i do know i need it to be a little flatter here i also want to make sure that there's a little river uh so i'm going to dig it in right here before i get to any kind of decorating i'd like to know the shape of what i'm working with in terms of this river, I want it to flow actually directly into this other creek, which will continue to flow into the big pond that we have down there. I think it'll be a nice connection, almost a through line between everything. And don't worry, I am planning, of course, of mixing up some stones and some, some other rocks in this landscape. Um, this border design is going to be the standard for the entire aviary. It's different than the kind of scaly squares that I chose for the reptile house uh, and it's clean enough that I think it'll work for every kind of bird. Now this is the final shape of this exhibit. I don't think the the layouts were quite right um, and I do know that it, this wall I'm laying down right now is going to be shared between it and the harpy eagles next door. This is what it looks like on our map. I do have to admit, this is one of the first builds I've done where I haven't entirely planned it out first. So there is a little bit of second guessing and kind of readjusting on the fly, but I am really kind of enjoying improvising it. Um, currently, while my arm is healing, I don't have a drawing arm, so I can't quite sketch anything out like I did with the hotel idea originally. So I hope you like kind of this little peek into my work, see if it works if it doesn't redo <laughs> style when I have to do it. I'm really enjoying how it's coming out. Let's take a minute to clean up and then we can step back and enjoy the view. Obviously, we'll need to make those stairs, but yeah, that's looking pretty good. So right now what I need, oh, let me get rid of the red ones that are in here. I need to get rocks, I need to get some leaves or bushes. I need to get, I think I should dig a burrow in here, okay. So I probably need the trees first. So tree, uh, I'm gonna switch to that tree. I'm gonna put this tree, say, over here instead. these flowers, that's fine. Alright, let's take a look back and see if we're ready to start mixing in dirt. Hmm, actually I know exactly where I want this burrow to be. Now, I don't know if owls really will use a burrow, but I just like how they look in exhibits. 
something just digging into the side of the mountain feels like there's a lot more depth and just a lot more life. That's maybe three deep and I could add a little more dirt. What's this look? It's a little small. Mm. Let's make it a little wider. Yeah, just so it feels like it's going somewhere, even though obviously it's not going through the whole mountain. Also, if I have to put like a water dish or anything unexpected, this is a nice place to, oh, grass, <laughs> a nice place to just kind of put it right in. I do want it to be a little rounder though, so let's open up maybe bottom the go in. Well, coal, I guess I'll have to pick that up real quick. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking this a lot more. If you look, yeah, it feels other than this weird flat top, it feels kind of like it's always been there. Let's work this shape just a little more. Okay, let's grab this coal and... Wow, this vein is big. Feels like every time I dig coal on this server, there's like 20 pieces or more. It's pretty awesome and ridiculous at the same time. Ah, this is a lot. I'm not gonna do all of it. I have quite a lot, actually. Put some dirt back in. Let's light it up just a little. I know that things haven't really been spawning, but it just, you know, for my safety <laughs> and comfort. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, better get my supplies ready because we are about to get decorating.
first pass and I really, really like how this is turning out. I think it's beautiful. Now, let's check it out from the very top. I think we have some last minute changes that I want to make, including adding this door. Once this door goes up, I'll be able to start on the walls. So let's see, this corner, uh, I don't, this is actually gonna be a shared wall, so I don't think this is the right spot, but this looks like it'll work just fine. Let's check it. Yeah, that feels good. Door time and on to our final big time lapse once these goes up. I think this might actually be the biggest build I've ever done. Everything else has always been like smaller survival houses and just quaint little cottage core things. But this makes up all of it in volume. <laughs> so I've used all my iron supplies, my stones got really low, and I had to go to a desert and dig almost four different times. Um, I say almost because the last one was a quick little beach trip. That being said, this took about six hours um, on Two different sessions because I can't really do more than a couple hours at a time and I'm super happy with how it feels. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And the last one! Yes! Yes! I cannot believe it's this big. I mean, I laid it out, but I just didn't think of it in cubic meters. This whole aviary is gonna look fantastic. Let's get our friends in. Obviously, made into a path. These trees have all, oops. I mean, look at this, guys. I think this came out great. Oh, let's hope our, uh, our feathered friends do as well. So, we have you. Hi. Zero, female, bold. Oh, you're beautiful. Um, let's see. Hi, female, very too. Oh my gosh, do you hear them? They sound great. Trying to release them all around so that hopefully they move all around. Hi. 
Another female variant, zero. And one up here would be good, just in case. That way they kind of keep about how tall the thing is. Yeah. Male variant zero. Oh, you're bashful. Hi. Well, here are. Look how. <gasps> they like it! <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh. I am very excited. Oh, okay. Um, we need to put you. Um, I kind of don't mind keeping you back here so it's out of sight. Oh, shoot. I just realized I didn't find out what they needed. Oh, hi. Um, let's see. Already. Okay, so mainly raw meat. Oh, eggs. I've got plenty of those as well. Perch and a tire swing. Okay. Okay. Let's get those done and I'll be right back. Feed you all of this in here. Nice. A perch. I kind of want a perch. I, it's something that the, the, the viewers, viewership, should see. So maybe I'll put one here. Okay, and then I want one down here. For a second, I thought I couldn't um, pick it up. There we go. Okay, so tire swing. Let's take a look back and see. Where would a tire swing be fun? I almost feel like a tire swing in the little cave would work give them a reason to like oh hi yeah. <laughs> well I mean you're already coming in here so maybe you don't need a reason maybe maybe no so I I kind of wanted it here though Okay, let me try something real quickly and see if it will work. <gasps> oh no, oh, man, for a second I thought I lost it. Um, yes, I wanted that link. Oh, hi! We need to come up with a name for you. Well, that's it, folks. It looks like they're enjoying their place. We're going to need to come up with some names for them. And feel free to comment them down below. I think that we, um, we've done a really good job. I mean, look at this. They look so majestic. Hi. I say this every time I've told one, but I think... I think this might be my favorite exhibit. Look how cute they are. All right. Well, from me and the owls, see you next time.